Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm featuring a very cool chronograph from Longines. This is the Avigation Big Eye. Now I just bought this watch a few weeks ago. I've been very excited to add it to my rotation. It's a watch that's been very popular over the past year that it's been released. It came out in 2017. It's part of the Heritage line from uh, Longines. And it's actually an award-winning piece. This won the Revival Award at the Grand Prix de Horology, which I think is actually pretty interesting. And the watch that this is based off of is a little bit of a mystery. So let me give you some backstory here. A collector came to Longines and they brought this watch and uh, Longines looked at it. They authenticated it. They said, this is definitely from, uh, from our brand, but we're not exactly sure which era it was produced in. However, Longines uh, liked it so much that they re-released it under the, uh, uh, under the Heritage line, and this is the watch that we have. So it's got some really cool vintage design elements here. Obviously, the large register at the 3 o'clock uh, subdial there is where the nickname comes, the big eye. This is an enlarged 30-minute uh, register with large hashes uh, indicating every three minutes. So very, very cool. And I think plays well with the other smaller registers here. There's a good mix of different elements. If you look at the running seconds on the left, you can see a nice uh, needle nose hand. There's some guilloche concentric circle texturing at play on the registers. And then if you look at the handset on your elapsed minutes and your elapsed hour, we have the elongated spade style, which is also replicated as the counterbalance of the chronograph hand on your main handset. So some really cool different elements. I like how the dial plays here. I like the printed Arabic markers here done in Superluminova C3. So we actually get some pretty great luminescence in low light situations. The whole dial is set off under a box sapphire crystal. The crystal has inner AR application and just looks great with that dual stepped tier bezel on this interesting case. The case is entirely brushed except for one of the rings of that dual stepped tier bezel which has a nice polished finish. So it's a very attractive looking watch with great vintage design elements, but in a modern size. I love these lugs. It's almost uh, a flared fender style that arc down and then the sides just meld into that slab case. It looks very, very sharp. And this is the watch on my 7.25 inch wrist. It wears very comfortably for its size. Now the watch ships on a brown leather strap, which I think is an attractive pairing. I've actually taken that off and placed it on a polished mesh here, which I think, I don't know, this is my pick. I, for some reason, I really like this combination. And it speaks to the versatility of the, of the big eye. It's kind of a strap monster. It looks good on a number of different options. So uh, let's talk about the movement. Longines is using an exclusive caliber made by ETA. It's based off of the uh, A08.L01, uh, which is based off of a, of a Valjoux 7750. This is, however, a very customized watch. They've taken the cam lever operation system out and replaced it with a column wheel system. Uh, so this is actually known as the L688 movement. It's only found in Longines. It's very tastefully finished, as you guys can see here. I did take this to my local watchmaker, we opened up the watch, we had a look at, at the movement, and I'm just impressed with the level of finish work that Longines put into this movement. Beautiful uh, perlage work, Geneva striping, blued screws, and my personal favorite part, the blued steel column wheel. I think that looks, uh, I just think that looks so good. Now the movement has a, a beat frequency of 28,800 beats per hour. There's a 54 hour power reserve, 27 joules. And this example is running at about plus four or plus five seconds per day. So just on the outside realm of what's acceptable to be classified as a chronometer. Now, as you guys can tell, I really, really like this watch. I think Longines did a fantastic job with this release. My one criticism or critique would be you can't see this exclusive movement uh, through this uh, steel case back. I'd love to see them do an exhibition style case back to really show off their signature movement because it is not found in any of the other uh, Swatch brands. And as you can see, it just it's a very attractive automatic chronograph movement. Now, one thing that's a little interesting 
is uh, Longines is known for their winged hourglass logo. It's the oldest registered trademark logo from any watch brand. And it's actually not found on the dial, as you can see here. Uh, there is kind of a version of it on the signed crown, but it, it is kind of squashed. You know, it, it's, it's shortened to fit on there. It doesn't quite look as good. The only place that it's kind of found is in form uh, cut out in the rotor in, uh, in the movement. So I think that's actually kind of an interesting point. Now, uh, this watch retails for $2,625, which I think is a great price for the level of watch that you're getting here. Uh, I really can't fault the watch other than I'd prefer a Sapphire Exhibition case back. Uh, these regularly go for about $2,000 on the secondary market. I think they're well worth the money. And one interesting thing to note is it comes in a massive presentation box that's made out of wood. And there's even a little plaque with the name of the watch, the Longines Navigation Big Eye. I actually think that's pretty cool. So anyways, guys, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. Please reach out with any questions that you may have, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.